pretty cool to see the guys have made a trip over to Manchester in the UK for this. This is a bad boy bend. It's currently on 19 inch wheels. What is going on? <laughs> I can't believe it. What is going on guys? Welcome back to Cast TV. Hope you're all doing well. I'm here in centre of Manchester for one of my favourite UK events, Fitted UK. This is actually the guys' third location. They started the show back in Leeds. Uh, they've had another location previously in Manchester and now they've moved to the city centre. Very, very cool indeed. Love the vibe of this place. All the cars look super, super cool inside. I'm going to take you through the show, show you some of my top picks and yeah, really looking forward to it. Let's go. Let me show you what we've got here today at Fitted UK. We're here with Airlift Performance and Slam Sanctuary, of course. Uh, a few cars we've invited over, just E30s. We've got an E92 M3. A few of you may remember this car from back of the day. It's had a few previous owners, all guys in the trade. Now owned by Shaz at Justy 30s, he's just painted the whole car. Super cool set of Rotiform three-piece wheels on it, obviously down on Airlift Performance. Very, very cool car and nice to see it out again. Moving on, we've got Bossman Raj's E36 M3 Evo, again down on Airlift Performance. Super, super nice interior in this car. Vader's with a tan interior on the black, super, super cool. ACS Type 2s, very similar to the ones on my own car. So I've got my own E34 Touring, 540 Touring here, again on LF Performance Suspension, 3P Management System, and again, another set of ACS Type 2 wheels. So, real nice to get these two together. It's the first time we've actually parked them up next to each other. Let me know what you think. It's pretty much BM goals for me right there. And then moving down, we've had our friends at Custom Colors come along with their incredible E21 Group 5 build. Obviously, we've done a separate video on this car, so I'll drop a link below and hit the card on the top right, and go watch that video. I'll do a full in-depth going over the car with Colin and you can see how intense the build is. But yeah, very, very cool. Pretty stoked with the uh, overall display we've got going on here. I think one of our strongest displays for a while. So let us know what you think and uh, let's take a look at the rest of the show. So check it out, just seen this um, Audi A1 or S1. Very, very cool fitment on this car. It's running like a poke style, arch lip poke, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Workmeisters, real nice, clean example. However, check this wing out. Let me know what you guys think of this. Pretty obscene. Would you go that far on something like this, such a small car? Let me know what you think of that wing. Other than that, pretty clean, tidy A1, love it. So as you guys know, we've been working on our own Honda S2000 project. Um, we'll put links in the description if you haven't seen that series. We built a Honda S2000 to like a fast road track spec car. Um, complete opposite to this one next to me, which I'm really, really digging. This one is sort of the opposite to our build, but I absolutely love it. It's on airlift performance. Crazy camber going on, work VS wheels. Really cool, it's got some get work seats in it. Let me know what you think. Do you prefer what we've done with the, like, the fast road look or the stancy look like this? Love both of them, but this is like proper eye-catching, isn't it? Love it. So we're out in the foyer and I've just spotted my mate Sean Crompton's BMW E28. He's been building this car all by himself for the past few years. Great to finally see it done. Um, he used to have a BMW E36 328 Sport and he basically, I think he broke the car and took the engine out of that car. So this is out of his E36 328 and he swapped the engine into his freshly painted, freshly restored E28. Love the color of it. The bay looks amazing. So it's got a shaved bay in here. Very, very cool. On a set of old school BMW M system throne style wheels, static on BC callovers, just a super, super clean example in the E28, really. So 
So moving on down the foyer, I've just spotted Adam King's Mercedes S400. This is a bad boy Benz. He's one of the guys that runs the show fitted. Um, always loved this car. He's got a super, super cool set of custom forged Rotiform wheels. Love the color of it too. And the Archer Lip fitment all the way around. Obviously air suspension. Love this car. And check this out, always had a thing for Volvo 850s, bricks as they're known, so sick. This one's down on air suspension, running airlift performance management on a set of magnesium BBS split rims. Suit it absolutely perfectly, let me know what you guys think of this one. Really, really digging it, super clean, paint's really nice, yeah. It's like back in the day, I wish you, you wish you'd have kept all these cars and slammed them on air, they look so good. Check it out. So good to finally see this thing. So it's Imran at Evolve's uh, brand new G82 M4. Crazy, crazy color. I'm sure it's gonna split opinions. Um, loving the, such a bold thing to do, isn't it? So that color, on a white set of custom uh, 660, custom forge rims, super cool. I think it actually works really well. It's one of those colors, it's like, oh, I'm not sure, not too sure, but with the white wheels, I think it looks really, really cool. Obviously, they've got the whole Eventuri intakes going on. Obviously, we sell Eventuri over at the tuningstore.co.uk, so if you're interested in intake systems for your vehicle, head on over to the website. We've got kits for loads of vehicles. They look amazing, really transform the look of the engine base and increase your power and, of course, sound and noise. Really, really good. And then check this out over here. I'm not a Ford guy at all, but loving the color of this Cosi over here. It's actually really, really, really nice. Loving it. Carbon lip on the front. This car is like immaculate. The interior is another level. You can't really see, you probably can't see on the camera, but it's super, the Recaris look amazing inside. Very cool car. Obviously running a set of period complimented wheels, like probably the best wheels for this car, let's be honest. Um, yeah. Standard cosy situations going on. Absolutely love it. Yeah, very, very cool. The dark grey on the purple looks amazing. Super cool. And I found the boys over here. Obviously, Doe Z21, which you saw back at Players Classic on its brand new BBS RSs, ceramic polished. Looks blinging in here. And then behind, got my mate Joey's BMW E36. He's like the friggin' god of E36s, I suppose, in the UK. He knows everything about them. This is one of his cars. Uh, yeah, super cool. BBS mags on it. Static, running some arches. Carbon hood as well. Pretty cool. Got hats as well. B5 S4. And he's got his BBS E88s back out. Again, they look ceramic polished. The interior on this car is insane. Very, very cool indeed. And then Amar's badass polo. This thing is a work of art. We've gone through this numerous times in previous event coverages, so I won't go into full detail about it. But this thing is like pretty insane build and he drives the out of this car too, which is pretty cool to see down the motorway. Always had a thing for this Audi A3 saloon owned by Kian. Um, running airlift performance and a really, really nice set of OZ Futuras, arch lit fitment all round. Just a super clean example of an A3, done really nicely and not too over the top. I uh, just bought this E36, something a little bit different from the uh, UK E36 scene. Looks more of a car like we would have seen at Alt Race drifting around the track. It's got those sort of jack vibes to it, hasn't it? Freaking slammed Archer Lip fitment on air suspension and loving the set of Enki racing wheels on it. Again, something you don't see on E36s and very different. Loving the look at the bodywork. Proper Must Customs Alt Race next level drift vibes.
Ooh, always a pleasure to see Ray's insane wide body SEC Merc running AMG Aero 3s, super widened. Absolutely love this car, one of my favorite Mercs in the UK at the moment. Always good to see our friends at Maguire's UK. Again, Cast TV channel sponsors. They're out of the Volvo and Dell's Merc today. Always cool to see these guys. So yeah, always good to see the Maguire's guys. Obviously, some of the best car cleaning products in the game. Always need a quick detailer for the shows, but yeah, guys, if you're interested in Meguiar's products, we do sell them online and in store. Head over to CarRadioSecurity.com. We stock the full Meguiar's range. Check it out. How's it been today, mate? Busy, mate. I can't tell you. Sweating. I must have done about 2,000 t-shirts, I reckon. Henry's had to drive back to London, pick up more and come back. Always cool to see Jack Smith's cars. Um, he's just picked up this uh, Toyota BB. Looks real, real hard down on air suspension and really, really like the 1552 wheels on this car. They suit it down to a T, and this thing is literally on the floor. It looks so good. Bit of an oddball car, isn't it? Something a little bit different. Really, really liking it. Super clean. And then Jack also owns this incredible Mercedes S205 wagon. Always follow them on Insta pretty much for this car because I love it. It's gone through a few different sets of wheels. A very, very cool car down on air suspension. And I love the front end on this thing. These Merc wagons just look so sick. So cool thing about Fitted is they're gonna be unveiling a few cars that haven't actually been shown on Instagram yet, which is pretty cool. And I hear our friend Misha with a Merc 190 has uh, got her car here under that cover right there. So knowing what she's like, there's gonna be some super, super details going on in the car. So we'll check back later. Very rare car, and Iman being Iman, yes, he's put it on airlift performance suspension on a set of racing dynamic wheels, arch to lip fitment. So it's currently on 19 inch wheels. He thinks they're too big, so he wants to build a set of 18 inch wheels and slap those on, but for now, the car's still looking super, super sick. I've never seen another Z3 M Coupe bagged in the UK, and I have to say, it looks insane. Friends at Rotoform, again, huge stand as usual. Um, got our friend Steve Fraser, F S30 BMX, R8, V10, airlift performance, Rotoform, three piece, custom forged wheels. Insane wrap, very cool car. We've shown you this car a bunch of times. Um, never gets old, super cool to see this in the flesh every single time, love it. Much a standout car for me here. Super noisy, so apologies for the noise. But I've just spotted this uh, Porsche 964 Turbo, and look at it. It is on the floor. When do you see a 964, let alone a Turbo? So obviously, super, super wide arches, um, slapped on the floor on air suspension, running a set of Rotiform 
CHD T three piece custom forged wheels, which look super, super cool on this car. Again, love what Rotoform do. Doing these sort of new such old wheels for old school cars, old school classics. It's really cool to see them on something a little bit different like this. Rotoform got it going on every single time. Yeah, love it. The interior is pretty much stock by the looks of it, which is pretty cool. And yeah, never seen a 964 turbo like this low on the floor, tucking rim like that. Very cool. out guys me and Jason saw this car over in Alt Race in Poland pretty cool to see the guys have made a trip over to Manchester in the UK for this it's this stunning Aston Martin Vantage V8 brand new car down on airlift performance custom forged rotiform wheels it's a thing of beauty isn't it so it wholeheartedly deserves its place here on this spinning turntable let me know what you guys think of this car So check it out, it's our friend Gersh's, well, one of his many E30s. He's a bit of an E30 godfather over in the UK, owns loads of them. He's got an E30 M3 as well, but always cool to see this one. Airlift performance suspension, of course. BBS RS's stepped up. Love the old school color combo with the red on the exterior, the uh, white interior. So yeah, loving the paint and the color combo of this car. Loving the louver on the back, brand new tailgate spoiler as well very very clean e30 build check it out for the air cool fans 54 barn door fully restored super super insanely clean obviously not involved full restoration check out all the mirrors you can see how detailed the underside of this car is. Obviously on air suspension as well, you can see the airbags down there. It is incredible to see how the uh, air cool VW community do take these things to like the next level. Yeah, look at the motor, wow. And underneath as well, <laughs> you can see everything, perfect. Look at the state of this thing. It was literally a piece of junk and they transformed it into that. Pretty insane. Loads of different areas in the venue here in Manchester. This is known as the VIP hall, carpet hall. Actually got nice lighting for once, which is pretty cool to see. And yeah, another stunning selection of cars in here. Super nice to see this car again. A guy called Alex, he's actually from France. He's made the trip over for Fitted. He's actually come to Fitted a few times in a row, so super cool to see the car back here in the UK. Real nice example of an E30 convertible running air suspension, Archulet fitment, and a stunning set of BBS RFs with Radnox dishes. Super nice. You can see the Airlift Performance controller in there. Loving the Nardi steering wheel, Nardi gear knob, and the period correct Recaro seats. Very cool car, and cool that he actually drives it long distance. Very cool to see. Mm -hmm. 
Okay guys, so I was sat in traffic the other day and I saw a Mazda 6 wagon, boring stock car, and then today I've seen this. Mazda 6 wagon on Elif Performance, which is like completely transformed the car. It actually looks super, super sick. A set of SSR wheels suit it perfectly, to be honest with you. I don't know, there's something about it. This is like daily goals, right? I'd rock this as a daily 100% and show car at the same time. Very, very cool. So a bit of classic Jap for you. Honda CRX down on airlift performance, which is super crazy to see. Really don't see many bad CRXs anywhere in the world. This thing was actually at Alt Race in Poland as well. The guys made the trip over from Belgium as well. Loving the set of stepped up BBS RSs with white centers, red badges to match the paint. Pretty cool. Very, very tidy inside as well with a Nardi steering wheel and the, the seats look immaculate for the age of this car. I spy the airlift 3P controller as well. Sick. Yeah, the thing looks amazing. Right, so check it out, our friend Misha has just unveiled the latest transformation on her Merc 190E. Seen this car a couple years ago, she went to town on engraving the wheels and a few trims down the side of the windows. Now she's taking things to the next level. Check this out guys. F***ing crazy. She has hand engraved absolutely any bit of metal in the engine bay, she has hand engraved it. Look, even the manifolds have been hand engraved. That is absolutely insane and it, it keeps going it's just crazy again the window trims as per last year she's gone all the way up here too crazy here like every little trim has been hand engraved it's insane and she's running some uh, new center caps as well which is pretty cool custom Nice. Got proper lowrider vibes this car, don't you think? So inside, she's actually retrimmed everything. A real nice dark red burgundy ox blood color. Really, really nice. Loving the door cards. She's gone for like an Alcantara finish on the inserts in the door cards against the red leather. Really, really digging it. Really tastefully done. So well done, Misha, on this build. It's looking really good. Okay guys, so that's about all we got time for in my show coverage of Fitted UK 2022. Love the show, gets bigger and bigger every year. The caliber of car increases year by year. It's always a great time to be here in Manchester. Love the show. Really hard to pick a favorite car. I'm gonna let you guys do that job. Drop a comment, let me know what your favorite car was from the whole show. This has been my top picks. Really hope you enjoy the content. Again, Please remember to like the video if you've enjoyed it. Really helps us go up the algorithm in YouTube. Helps us bring more content to you. Share it with your mates. If you've got mates that are into stance cars, modified cars, send the video their way. I'm sure they'll enjoy it too. And most importantly, drop a subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right now. Please hit that subscribe button. And we will be bringing you even more show coverage videos very, very soon. I think we have Roll Hard coming up very soon. So keep an eye out for that. Until then, Enjoy, and I'll leave you with a bit more B-roll of the show. See you later.